Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from computergargar.com and in this video we are going to look at how to highlight specific values of a chart based on the selection from a drop down list. So I have a simple dashboard in this spreadsheet and in cell C3 I have a drop down list of sales reps. And when I select a rep, such as Nancy Devolio, then you can see that these two tables with the top five selling countries and the top five categories change. Now the two charts at the bottom are not affected by this because they are just showing general overview data. But what I would like is that when I choose a sales rep like Michael, I want Michael's column in the chart to change color so that there's a nice visual and we can see where the selected person is as a value. Now these charts and also these tables, but we're not focusing on them. This is coming from the data on the preparation sheet. So I have some formulas in some tables running here which is you know which is what those charts are running from so we're going to come over to here in order to get this done we need to write an if function to get some condition going to say look if the name of the sales rep in these tables is the same as the sales rep selected let me zoom in here as well in this cell then I need that value to change color I need that value shown. So over to the preparation sheet we go and let's put some information in this new column. Let's start with a column header. I'll just call this selected value. And then we'll get started with the if function. So in cell D2 equals if, and we would like to know if the name of this sales rep so the shorter name is what is being used by the chart for presentation. But the actual name of the person is in A2. And I want to know if that is equal to, over to the report sheet, the name in that drop-down cell there. So cell C3. And I'll be making that an absolute reference. I'll put my comma in. So we're on to value if true. And if I move back to the preparation sheet, we can see the formula I have. I do not need that sheet reference right now. So if the value in A2 is the same as the cell selected in C3 of the report sheet, fixed reference, then show the value, show their sales value. Once again, I don't need that sheet reference. It's not doing any harm but I'm going to remove it because it'll, the formula will look cleaner without it. Comma, what if it's not the same person? Then I'm going to display the NA error message. So charts do not plot error messages. So when we're doing conditional work like this, an easy way is if we get an error message into the cell, we know the chart ignores it. Whereas if I plot a if I put a value in this cell, the chart will plot it. Now if I run that and copy it down, I can't remember what name I've got selected on the other sheet at the moment. That was it, it was Michael. Uh, we could format these cells, but it's not really necessary for what we want. Here we have our error messages and only Michael's value is showing because Michael is the selected name. Over to the report sheet we go. And now we need our chart to use that information. So if I select the chart in question and up on the ribbon, go to the design tab and the select data button so that I can see what data that chart is plotting from. And it's plotting from columns B to C on the preparation sheet. And you may remember that that is the shorter name column and then the sales values. 
Now I want to change that C to column D. So now it includes the extra column that we just created. I will click OK. And if I just zoom out of this, we will see that a new value is plotted for that if function that we wrote in column D. What we now want to do is double click on that column to open up some settings on the right hand side. We want to look at overlapping the series. So in this column chart section of the format data series pane, we're going to change this to 100% overlap of the data series. With that done, if I look over at the chart now, then we can see the column has completely overlapped the other column. All that is left is to maybe apply a different color if I'm not happy with the standard red. So I'll just choose a solid fill and I'm quite happy with that green actually for the moment. Let's zoom out and see what this is looking like. And this is what we have. So if I change the name Michael to Nancy, these tables update and Nancy's column is selected. And if I change that again to maybe Robert, we can see it gives the appearance of this uh, change of selection based from that drop down. Really, we know there's two columns here overlapped, but it gives that beautiful visual. Now we can do the same for the other chart. Uh, a quick repeat of that technique. Over to the preparation sheet. Let's scroll across to this column. And let's quickly do the same thing again. Selected value. <clears throat> if function. If the name is equal to. Over to the report sheet. Select that cell. F4 to fix it. Comma. Back over to preparation, show the value. So this is the average sales, this information. Let's delete that sheet reference. Comma, NA error, close bracket. We've got some rather nasty decimals showing here. So we don't really need to format that, but that is too bad. Let me just remove those. Now it's a case of going back to report. Uh, so that was column J, that column. Back to report. Select the chart. Design. Select data. Change that I to a J. Click OK. In comes the column. Double click it. Going through the second example quite quick. Let's choose a different color. I'll, I'll keep with the green again. Column chart overlap the series and now we have one there as well let me zoom out so now we can see that visual of in total sales Robert was you know just under middle of the sales reps performance but it was the best when it came to average sales and if I change it to maybe Laura we can see that Laura struggled on the average, but it's a bit better than Robert when it comes to the amount of mate, only a, only a tiny bit. And we can see that Germany is a top country and she's good at selling confections. So this was all about this video highlighting chart values based on the selection of a drop down. I hope you found this video useful. Please check out some of our other video tutorials on our YouTube channel and come check us out at computergaga.com.